Um, sidebar, my pop socket is not broken, but like I recently got a new camera case and I had to peel the pop socket off. Somebody told me that I would be able to do this and transfer the pop socket onto the new case. That was a lie. It, 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 that glue is almost permanent. Like I had to like rip it off. Some of the glue came off on the old case. Now trying to put it on the new one, it falls off. I cannot live my life without a pop socket now. It is not a life that I want to live. Like, and it annoys the frick out of me that I have to pay up to $15 for a pop socket. It really does, but I can't live without it. This is my first pop socket. I can't go back. I can't go back. So there's a little news for you. All right, finally, finally, I am going to review this. NYX can't stop, won't stop, won't stop, can't stop. <laughs> Foundation. It's going to be done. I'm going to do it. Boom! So I went to the NYX store in NYC. I actually enlisted the help of an employee there to help me get my right shade because I just don't want to go back. This NYX uh, Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation, which boasts 24 hour coverage, which I will not be testing, was uh, done in collaboration with Alyssa Ashley, one of the top YouTube beauty vloggers, and her rate to her. I love it. I love it. I love it when black women get involved in the collaboration of foundation brands because. So I actually thought it was great that there were about three shades that kind of sort of matched me because it felt like I had options. However, the NYX um, employer who helped me out, who was really nice by the way, um, mentioned that this uh, foundation does oxidize. And so even if I think I found a shade that matched me, I should probably get something that's a little lighter than what I think because it's going to get like darker. So my shade is mahogany. I've already done my eyebrows just to make life easy for myself. I just want to just do this real quick fast. I'm really proud that my brushes and sponges are clean because I had wash day recently. I'm also glad for this video that I'm using clean brushes and I'm also glad because I have broken out in the worst acne of my life because it's probably best for me to use clean tools all right i don't know brush or sponge i think i'm gonna go with brush i think i'm gonna go with brush i'm gonna go with brush just because i love using this brush which is the elf blending ultimate blending foundation brush which i love like i just love it i just love doing like this it's just so good that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use a brush so here we go. I literally, I've had this sitting in my bag um, for a few weeks now. And I've really, really been avoiding full coverage foundation because of my like breakout. So this is the first time that I'm using full coverage foundation in a while. I'm a little scared, but I really, really want to see what it looks like. So here we go. I'm going to start with pumps on my hand. That was like two pumps. And I'm gonna do this in my mirror just cause I don't, I, I, I wanna see it close up. I wanna be able to judge it accurately. Ooh. Well that does look like a match, I could say that. I've been using serum foundation for weeks, like I said, so I'm applying really lightly um, the way that I have been applying the serum foundation. I don't, I'm don't. i gonna try to build up the coverage. I don't wanna like go full on crazy yet. It is a light foundation though. It's not super thick. Like I don't, 
I'm not getting thick vibes from it. I'm gonna do a few more pumps. Like it blends out really nice and soft, like airy. I really like that. I'm glad I picked the brush. Ooh. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some down along my neck. What? Wow, what I'm seeing in the mirror and my camera. Slightly different. The finish is fucking amazing. Like, wow, very airbrushed, very even, very smooth looking. Um, in the mirror, in my compact mirror, it's like even better. Like, wow. Um, I love it. I will say that I feel like there's something on my face, which I don't usually, the foundations I use, I don't usually feel that upon application, like immediately upon application. I don't usually feel that there's something on my face. And I kind of feel that with this. Um, and I see settling in my lines, in the lines under my eyes as well, which I also don't usually notice with foundations that I've been using. It is super matte, like super matte. And as someone with oily skin, wow, wow, like wow. It's like, um, that's like airbrushed. It's like airbrushed looking. Um, it also boasts not having any transfer, like it's non-transferable, like you can touch your face and not have any transfer. Um, you know, I feel like, I feel about that like I feel about the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. Like, you don't have to say that because it might not necessarily be true and it could still be okay. Um, like I don't, like my husband now, like he won't let me lie on his shoulder because he's just like, no, 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 no. Cause you're just gonna leave makeup on my shirt. Cause, cause you just gotta make sure like you don't leave makeup on my shirt. You have to lie on my shoulder in a way that makes sure there's no makeup on my shirt. So like if I told him like, babe, this is, this is non-transfer foundation. Like he wouldn't believe me and I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame him. Yeah, it feels a little bit like I can feel like there's something on my face, but it looks un- almost like I don't need to set it with powder but I'm so stuck in my ways that I'm still gonna put a little bit of powder and this looks like my dead-on match however I am potentially gonna go out today so I'll see if it oxidizes a little, I can't imagine that being bad, even if it does. Like, I don't mind being a little darker, especially in the summer. Um, oh yeah, let's put on the other stuff. I am going to go in with my Multi Sculpting, my Multi Use Sculpting Concealer by Born This Way Too Faced. That's all I've been using. Um, I use my LA Girl still a little bit to like contour my eyebrows, but since I got this, it's been the only concealer I've been using because I mean like, it's good, it's great, it's fucking superior. Um, why use anything else? So, here we 
go. I don't know why my mouth hangs open when I put that. It's like my mouth hangs open when I put on mascara. I can't help it. Let's put a little bit down here. Wow, man, the matteness, the matteness of this foundation is real. The concealer blends out really nicely in it though. I mean, I, I honestly haven't used a foundation yet that I feel like it, the Born This Way concealer does not play well with. That's pretty. That's really nice. So I'm gonna go into this ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. This is also something I've been using every day. This is the Banana Powder. And I have been really using this lightly as well. I'm not baking. I'm not going crazy with it. I'm not double applying. Oh my, wow. I'm actually hoping this does oxidize a little bit because I feel like my face is looking a little pale, but smooth, you know. And because it's the summer and it's been like 90 plus degrees here in New York City, I feel like powder is necessary like I can't be going out there without a little bit of powder some setting spray just to combat the the inevitable breaking out of the grease Wow, this is so mad. She did that. I'll be back with contour. I'm having a similar experience to what I had the last time I did a first review of a full coverage foundation, which is like, it's just amazing to see my face look this good when I know my skin is looking like trash. So it's just like, wow, what a transformation. Like, it is totally full coverage. It is very matte, which I love. I think this may be, may be the mattest foundation that I've ever used. I know there's a lot of matte foundations out there, but um, for me, the finish on this is just, it's really, really good. I am, I'm really excited to see what it's gonna be like after I wear it for a few hours out in the heat. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on and show what this looks like before I just do my full face of, you know, eyeshadow and mascara and all that stuff, um, which I'm gonna do off camera. I mean, you can still see my acne and like, you know, the texture and stuff on my face. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go off camera, finish my makeup, come on and give my final thoughts on this foundation. When I look at myself in the mirror, I feel like I look pale. Looking at myself on camera now I actually look better than I did before. Maybe the contouring, maybe it's oxidized a little bit. It's always you know crazy for me and for i imagine a lot of women who wear makeup in the age of social media depending on what age you're in because you're always looking at yourself through literally these different lenses like camera filter mirror lighting natural lighting studio lighting so it's kind of hard to really get an accurate sense uh 
right away all the time of what these foundations look like what I can say for sure is as I said previously um, the finish is amazing it is it is it is incredible I feel like my face is like illuminated like it's like this bright bulb it's just it's amazing I mean this is a foundation that I would wear on a special night out or you know um, for like really slaying pictures uh, to go to the club to a party like and you're telling me it's 24 hour coverage the color of this foundation the match is on point the finish is beautiful it is an oily skin girls dream come true and it's fantastic but I will try to record while I'm outside maybe to see how it wears um, I don't know I, I'm just gonna wear it until I feel like I can't take it anymore because usually with any kind of makeup um, I get to a point where I just I just have to take it off I can just feel like there's like a mask on my face so I'll just wear this until it's really annoying and then I will try to record and report back on how it wears it's almost five o'clock um, which means I've been wearing this for maybe like three hours or so. I left my house at three, like two hours. Um, you can tell it's a little glowy, but I love it. Like I think the low, the glow. I think the glow is nice. Um, it's not greasy or oily yet, anyway. And I don't know. I think it's still really beautiful. I love it. Okay. Hi. Um, it's almost it's 650 so it's not quite seven o'clock yet um, I don't think that this light is really like the most optimal show of how this foundation has worn over the day it's not been 24 hours I don't intend on wearing this for 24 hours it's been like uh, I left the apartment at 6 so Six. I left the apartment at three because I went to the cloisters to see the fashion of the Catholic imagination. It was amazing and a little creepy. That's just my honest opinion. Where was I? Yes, the way this foundation wears. I really, you know, I think you can see a glow coming out, but it's not greasy. It's not oily and I really do believe that this is like it really transfers the least of any foundation that I have used maybe ever um, it was it was warm today it hasn't been like it has been the last few days where it's been like 90 uh, plus today was cooler it's like in the 70s and a nice breeze so um, it didn't really give it the chance it usually takes for my oils to come out because it wasn't really that hot but it was warm and this stayed I mean it got glowy it got better looking I'll say because the matte was looking a little cakey and powdery to me so I do like there to be a little bit of human essential dewy and glowiness because it's like glowiness is of the spirit um, so yeah I think it's beautiful anyway I will see you in the next video. Enjoy the weekend. I certainly have a happy Labor Day. And I'll see you in the next one.